This is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and welcome to the Using Keyboard Shortcuts tutorial. Control My Nikon, it's very easy to control the operation of the camera by using the mouse, but sometimes you'd like to be able to use the keyboard as well. And I'm going to show you how to use the built-in keyboard key mapping functionality of Control My Nikon to let you do this. So the first thing you need to do is start up Control My Nikon, and then go to the Triggers menu, and then to Keyboard Shortcuts. This shows a list of all the different commands that you can do in Control My Nikon and map those commands to a key. So for example, you can map a key to connect to your camera and map another key to disconnect. And some of them are already set here. You may be familiar with some of the older uh, Control My Nikon shortcuts such as F5 for AF only, F6 for shoot, F7 for AF and shoot. So let's take a look at how we could set these uh, to uh, enable keyboard shortcuts for uh, Control by Nikon. Now, as an example, let's say I wanted to set the C button on my keyboard to uh, connect to the camera. Now, to do this, I just double click on connect, and then you see these three question marks here, so it's waiting for you to press a key. Now, you could just use any single keystroke on the keyboard. However, you cannot use keyboard combinations. For example, you can't use Control T or Alt Z. It's just a single keystroke. So I'm going to press C on the keyboard. And now it's mapped. And I'm going to map D as disconnect. So double click on disconnect and press D. Okay, so now we've done that, we'll try it out. Let's close the keyboard shortcut window. And I've currently I've got the cable connected to my D7000, and I've already selected D7000 here. So I'll press the C key on the keyboard, which should be mapped to connect. So pressing C, and you can see that it connected. Now I'm going to press D, and they're disconnected. So let's see what else we can do. We'll go back to keyboard shortcuts. Now if you want to remove a mapping, you just double click and press the delete key on the keyboard. So I'll double click, press delete, and it's gone. Now there's some gotchas with keyboard shortcuts. Some keys work better than others. And I'm just going to demonstrate that by using the uh, live view. And here I've mapped the right arrow key on the keyboard to adjust the focus near and uh, the, uh, the other key to, uh, the other arrow to uh, adjust the focus far. So I'll bring up live view. Okay, so I have my focus pad and really all those keys will do is direct the focus near and far. So I'm going to I'm just going to change a preset here. There is a better color. I'm going to press the right arrow key on the keyboard. Press it again and again. And now you can see how it's just cycling through highlighting these different components here on the live view. So the right arrow and the left arrow key and, and up and down arrow key aren't very good for mapping. So let's change it. At any time you can bring up the keyboard shortcuts. For adjusting focus near, and I'm going to use the A key. Far, I'll use D. And step, uh, D, increase focus step fine. Uh, I'll use the W key and decrease focus step fine. I use the S key. And I'm going to change that around. I tried to map S as well to increase focus fine and it said it's already mapped so uh, we can't map the same key to two different commands so I'm going to just uh, press delete on these to get rid of those and map them again. So I'll use W to decrease, S to increase. And this is a pretty good keyboard combination for using the focus pad. Okay, so now I'm going to try it again. I use the D key, and you can see that the focus is changing. I'll use the A key. Focus is changing the other way, so the shortcut keys are working. Now I can also change uh, the step if I press the S key, 
it increases the step, as you can see right here. And now when I change the focus using my A or D key, the focus changes uh, on a larger step. Okay, I'm just going to autofocus again. We'll bring the focus back. And let's bring up our keyboard shortcuts. So as you can see, there's a lot of different commands that you can map to different keys on the keyboard. And uh, so go ahead and give it a try. And uh, this can help make using Control Mind Icon a lot more convenient so you don't have to use the mouse as much. And that's it for keyboard mapping. Happy tethering.